In the second part of this tutorial, we're going to have a look at DS Color Labs. If you put DS Color Labs into Google, you'll come up with this website, dscolorlabs.co.uk. Click on the online photo printing link, which takes you to the home page. Before we start to order prints, it would be useful to have a look at some of the links on the site. For example, the delivery rates are here with all the different postal options. Here you can download order forms. Those are for if you want to send images on CD in the post with an order form. Quality Advice is a very useful page which discusses calibration and ICC profiles and well worth reading. There is a support section with frequently asked questions and an image resizing link which tells you in pixel dimensions the size of the image that's needed for each print size. We're going to go to the paper profiles and here you can download the paper profiles for the different paper finishes that DS Color use. I already have most of these profiles already, but I'm going to download this one today, Fuji Satin Paper for Poster Prints, and that will bring up my save dialog. Here it is in the download box, and if I right click on there I can open the containing folder and then right click on the profile and install it. That will simply install the profile in my computer system so that when I want to use that profile in Photoshop all I need to do is go to edit convert to profile and in the destination space drop down box choose the Fujifilm photo paper satin color profile. So it's already there and we can close this dialog box and that one. Now we're going back to the home page where we can have a look at the various options for ordering prints from DS Color. Here we have a postal option which is for people who want to send a CD and an order form. You can download an order form and send that in the post with your CD. Here is a Mac online application for Mac users. The standard application version for PC users is very easy to use um, and it's better for more complicated orders with lots of different print sizes and different finishes. But the simplest one to use is this Fuji online application for PCs. And when you first click this Get Started button, it will walk you through just downloading a little bit of software onto your computer to open up the kiosk software. And that only takes a couple of minutes. It's very easy to do. When the kiosk software opens up, you get this very clean, simple interface asking what kind of product you want to order. I'm going to click on Digital Prints here. And the next screen asks to choose will there be standard prints, that's gloss or luster, or pearl prints, or passport prints. I'm going to order standard prints. And now I need to navigate through my hard drive to find out where the prints are. I've put them all in a single folder to make it easier and I'm just going to choose that folder now. They're in my pictures DS Color JPEG and Glossy. OK. And to choose a print size for the pictures we navigate through the next screen until we find our 12 by 16 inch prints. 
The next screen asks do we want to quick select the images or select them manually. If you just put the right number of images into one folder, you can quite safely quick select them and it will select one of each of the five prints in this folder at 12 by 16 inches. But otherwise you can select them manually. I'm going to select quickly and you can add more copies here and sizes or edit your photo using this tools link here. You can see that the software has chosen to put five prints in your basket. Each one is 12 by 16 inches and the estimated cost is £5.25 without postage. The postage is added at the end of the process at the checkout. You can click on more options or add more pictures here. But if you're satisfied that this is what you want, then go to the next screen and choose the final options, which is to have an index print for an extra 50 pence. Well, I don't want that. A white border costs an extra pound, but if you've incorporated a white border into your image space, as I have, you don't need to pay that extra pound, so you don't want to choose that option. This is where you choose the luster or gloss prints. It says free, it just means no extra charge for that. And then when you finish that, just continue. And this will take you to the checkout where you can enter your details of name and address and so on and go through to the checkout and pay with credit or debit card. Once you've actually paid for your order, the software will automatically upload the images that have been chosen to the internet site and all you have to do is wait until that process has been completed before closing your browser. If you've made a mistake and want to start over again then just hit this button here. That's what I'm going to do because I don't want to actually order these pictures and pay online at the moment so I'm going to click start over. Yes and that will take me back to the start screen. When you've ordered your pictures they'll arrive by post in a sturdy box in a couple of days time and I've had no problems at all with this company. I would highly recommend them.